Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today we are going to do another bush trip. Well, we're going to begin another bush trip. The two I have left at the time of this recording are quite long. But before that, two back of the house things, or, you know, behind the scenes things I want to briefly talk about. If you want to skip all this, just click in the description below to get right to the flight. But first thing is, I almost did something I said I would never do. And that is, I almost flew the other day because I felt obligated to fly and I promised myself long ago I would never ever do anything on this channel that I felt obligated to do like I never think oh my gosh it's been a long time since I've played Minecraft I feel obligated to do a Minecraft video or a flight video or whatever and the other day I was thinking okay I have two bush trips you know the US update to catch up at the time of this recording and I should probably fly them and get them started because they're going to take a while and I want to be caught up with bush trips just because it's fun to have the sense of completion. But I stopped myself and I said, no, I don't feel like flying that day. So I didn't. And um, it's about a week later now and I feel like flying. So we're going to fly. The other thing, oh, also, you know, the channel makes no money at all anymore and the growth is slow, which is totally fine. You know, the 75 of you that watch every video is perfect. So I'm not doing it for growth. I'm definitely not doing it for money. I'm, I don't have any sponsorships I'm obligated to fulfill or anything. So, um, yeah, if I don't feel like flying, I'm not going to. But I feel like flying today, so we're going to. The other behind-the-scenes thing is that now that X-Plane 12 is gaining traction in social media, the comment section on my flights, Microsoft Flight Simulator videos are just blowing up with all the X-Plane fanboys calling Microsoft people fanboys i'm like look in the mirror this is pretty funny i'm ignoring a lot of them but it is really hilarious that um my comment section is blowing up since they don't do x-plane anymore now that x-plane 12 is gaining traction all right those are the two behind the scenes things um we're going to start with these bush trips now we've got the appalachian summits left to do and we have the california dreams which one should we do? I was going to do this one, but we've seen so much. Well, no, we saw a lot of city stuff in the Megapolis one, didn't we? Um, let's do the Appalachian Summits. Let's click on it here. And have yeah, five hours. It'll take me about nine. Um, I kind of want to try two legs per video just so we don't have 13 videos of one bush trip. Um, so I'm going to try to do two legs per video. Maybe one of these will be three. Um, because 13 is an odd number, or maybe 13 will be by itself. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, you all know the format. I think if you've never watched a bush trip video with me before, we'll talk about more detail as we go along. Remember the first leg of every bush trip, I repeat everything because I don't know if you've seen one before, but subsequent, subsequent legs, we just jump right in and go. So you do not have to sit through a six minute introduction every time. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just the first time. All right, let's see. We're on the ah, the G36. Is that what that is? G36, I think. Whatever that says. I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Um, this plane and I, I used to love this plane, and then there was an update several updates ago, and now it doesn't. We don't get along very well. Mainly, this thing will not climb for me. So um, if we have mountain Appalachians are not that high. But if we get too high, then this thing doesn't like to climb very high because a couple updates ago, you couldn't use mixture, drop back to climb, and auto mixture you are cannot use in a bush trip. You have to do it yourself. So we'll talk about that if it comes up. Um, will those of you who watch every bush trip already know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. One of the most renowned and far-reaching regions of the United States, the Appalachian Mountains are notable for the individual forms within the chain of peaks and also for the history that they helped to forge. One of the oldest mountain systems in the United States, and f at 480 million years in age, the Appalachians are physically subdued compared to younger American ranges like the Sierra Nevada and the Rockies, but they are nevertheless awe-inspiring and in some cases imposing and even evocative. Appalachian Summits explores this chain of peaks through an itinerary anchored by the high points of the number of Appalachian states. Beginning in the southern region of the mountain range, this journey visits Alabama's Chihachiha Mountain, Georgia's Brasstown Ball, Tennessee's Clingman's Dome, North Carolina's Mount Mitchell, the highest point in Appalachians, Virginia's Mount Rogers, Kentucky's Black Mountain, West Virginia's Spruce Knob, Maryland's Hoy Crest, and Pennsylvania's Mount Davis. 
The flight also visits areas around these points, landmarks, both well-known and less traveled. We don't worry about back on track because we know where we're going and we do not have an achievement for this flight as far as I know. We've done all the achievements except the 500,000 hour ones because in the beginning those of us who are OG lost a lot of hours during an update. So those other two achievements don't really matter to me. Um, I have been to Appalachians. I'll talk about it as we go if we go to where I've been. Um, otherwise, I do have some other Appalachian stories that I'll tell if I remember to tell them. That should be it. Let's get going here. Let's see if we can combine these first two legs. All right, let's see. Do we need to do a repair and refuel? Yeah, there we go. Also, those of you who may be confused on the name Appalachian Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains also are part of or include or are also called the Blue Mountains and the Smoky Mountains. And then up in New York, there's Adirondack Mountains, which aren't really part of the Appalachian Mountains, although some people do call them part of the Appalachian Mountains. So there's a lot of, I don't know if you would call them sub-ranges, but there are a lot of ranges within the Appalachians. So you might somebody say, we went to the Smoky Mountains. That's what my wife calls them, the Smoky Mountains, which is part of the Appalachians. Somebody might say, we're going to the Blue Mountains, which again, um, for most people, it's part of the way they name things. It's part of the um, um, Appalachians too. Alrighty, turn on pedo heat. Whoa, correct preset, please. Let's clear this up a little bit and then put on the wind because I love doing the wind even though it doesn't really matter for bush trips, except the Patagonia bush trip. All right, we have a little bit of tailwind. Doesn't really apply for bush trips, though. Whoops, I totally did not do back. And let's get this ready to go. Um, I don't think they fixed this. If you start this and you close it, I think it goes back to zero. Yep, it's like if you combine, collapse these and you close them and you come back, they expand. Now you can always go like this. But then that's in your way and it's annoying. So I just deal with it. Um, yeah, I, I want to talk about the mixture thing that you're playing, but I'm not going to unless I need to. All right, let's just set up autopilot right now since we're down here. Do we have, okay, 2,400 feet. Um, all righty, let's go 3,000. Let's go 4,000. We want to be kind of an We want to be kind of high above the mountains, or the train turbulence is going to be way too much. Actually, just probably do 5,000. Let's do. F yeah, then we can see more, right? Uh, let's do 5,000 flight director. Now we talk about this every time too, because we just started the bus trip, and we didn't um, leave the sim. We do use. We can use the GPS. And it'll go all the way all by itself. And that's what we're going to do. Only because we can. We do not do this for subsequent legs. Only the first leg, or in this case, first two legs because we can. So we'll use nav on autopilot. We're going to do vertical speed. Let's, I think you go pretty steep in this. Let's do 1100 feet per minute, although I know we can go more. All right, there we go. Let's have a look outside, see where we are. If I can remember my controls. There we go. Ow, oh, I can't. Ouch. Okay, so. Ow. Oh. My won't my. Why don't my rudders work? Hey, my rudders don't work. Okay, that's better, and I know they work because I'm using the drone, which uses my rudder and yoke. So, um, I haven't had to reset my rudders once we were in sim for like a year. I used to have to all the time. I don't know what that was all about, but we're working now, and we're looking fantastic. Also, I was thinking about um, trying this in VR. My kids have an Oculus Rift 2, Quest 2, whatever it's called. But I don't know how that would make for a video because you wouldn't be experiencing VR, only I would. So I don't know. But anyway, here we are looking fantastic. And I think they put us at the end of the runway. They did. Um, so that's good. Alrighty, where are we? What are we doing? I guess we're going to read about. Um, yeah, I'm going to read about where we're going. I had something else to say, I can't remember. After lifting off from Ashland Lineville Airport. Head due north towards a ridge of verdant rolling mountains that culminates at the 2,400 foot high Chiaha Mountain, the highest point in the state of Alabama. This is near the southernmost extremity of the Appalachians, where they appear more as hills as they do mountains. Um, to be honest, the Appalachians pretty much usually appear as hills, especially when you're in them. 
like when you're in them they're like hills above you because you're in them but anyway um and then the foothills oh my gosh the foothills go forever when we lived outside of cincinnati there were foothills out there too at the river um that's a bit ways out so we'll actually just read about that for now and then we'll read about the other stuff so sometimes we'll read everything if it's really close together a lot of times we'll read one at a time because we're using the gps for this leg it'll tell us where it actually is and we'll see where to go there you go when we get there we can line it up with this and we'll know where we're supposed to be looking right see how that works um not a huge um magical thing or anything but there we go i'm just really nervous about the um actually i don't need this then i'm nervous about the mixture in this thing hopefully it works um let's do one set of flaps probably was already down take the parking brake off and let's go parking brake is on okay there we go now take it off i'm also nervous because um i broke my toe last night and i didn't think it would affect my rudders too much and yeah this hurts a lot so might have to do one foot rudder where i use my right foot to lift up as well come on there we go that was way too gentle brakes to stop the wheels this is have gear so they're coming in and flaps coming in and because we can let's just set autopilot right away there we go that'll turn us and keep our climb as you look out the window at the trees and the birds and the traffic very very cool um well solar panels on that house is that cool that the algorithm knows what to do with stuff like that so when it sees it in the map system um otherwise we know when we get here about that's going to be the mountain peak we're looking for right at the end of that thing which should be pretty obvious because it's going to come into view yeah it's going to be one of these right hopefully we climb high enough by then oh yeah we're already there cool Alrighty, so if I were to do this in VR, I'm trying to think about keyboard stuff I use. I use the barometer. In analog gauges, I use the D key, which is next to F. I think that's all I use. So I think I can then, well, then use the number of keys for my views, which you wouldn't worry about if you're in VR. So it would just be the B key and the, and the D key. And I, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I can do VR with the keyboard because you feel D and you feel B. Okay, anyway um let's see let's hop outside there we go that is really loud um i don't think there's anything else to say so those of you who have never seen a bush video before um the way this works eventually is i'll shut my mouth <laughs> and i'll just have you do the sightseeing without me and then i come back in with the narration and we talk about what we're looking at and where we're going and how we're navigating these first two legs are going to be a little different because we have gps helping us but once i stop this in and come back in the next video we won't have gps helping us there is your mountain chiaha very obviously so that's how that works um for this first little bit though we're going to just stay together till i get to the mountain and i don't want to getting those stalls like that um and then after that i'll turn you loose to sightseeing that's how this works very simple very straightforward i try to mix it up sometimes i talk the whole time sometimes i talk very little i just do whatever i feel like doing um let's see here we're gonna head to 5,000 feet and we're about to go over that mountain so let's read about the next thing so after that we're going to go to jacksonville pass over the city of oxford and then another small range of peaks to reach the small city of jacksonville um, we'll worry about the GPS. We'll let the GPS worry about this, I mean. Um, when I was in Ohio with my wife, we lived in Oxford, Ohio. There's an Oxford in every state. And you're looking good from this altitude. Um, we usually check out the scenery quite a bit. and that we're, we're discerning with the scenery quite a bit. Because sometimes it's like a 1 out of 10. Other times it's a 10 out of 10. It just depends on where we are in the world because of course not all this will be the same quality but you would think for bus trips they would go for 10 out of 10 they often don't <laughs> so let's hop outside one more time because we're going to over that mountain right now mount chiaha and if you 
I want to see how this looks. So there you go, it's flat there, right? Going south. But then to the north, I don't know why my frame rates are being all weird. Actually, it's not bad frame rates. My calendar is pegged at 60. It's just these stutters as I move around, whatever. Um, and then it's flat up there, right? So this range isn't very wide, and it's very easy to pass over it in a lot of areas. Um, but it's really cool. It's a really cool range of mountains, or range of mountains, if you've never been there. All right, we're coming up on cruise, and autopilot now will take us to the small city of Jacksonville, which, if you look at POI 2, is, let's see, we're going to find it on here. We've got, we got to zoom out a little bit. Well, it's not going to show this zoomed out, but anyway, I'm going to let you sightsee without my voice, and then when we get to City of Jacksonville, we'll come back in and we'll rebound number three. So there you go, that's how this works. And um, I will see you a little bit. We don't need to worry about mixture of this altitude, so I'm not going to bring up the mixture conversation with this airplane until we need to. See you a little bit. Alright, our small town of Jacksonville is right up here, so we're just going to ride this out for a minute before we read about the next POI. Um, I am getting so many of these, like, micro pauses? Actually, not even that micro, they're just pauses. My frame rates are pegged at 60, because that's what I set it to stop at, so I don't know what's going on. I did notice this happened two simulator updates ago, so... The previous one was a, at the time of recording, the previous was a world update, USA 2, and then before that was a sim update. And starting in that sim update, there have been these pauses. And at the time you're watching this, I think sim update 10 is out, and the next world update might be in the works, if not out already. So maybe it's fixed by the time you watch this. Um, I'm recording this in mid-July, and you're watching this at the end of August, I think. Um, I don't know. We'll deal with it, though. It is kind of annoying, because for two-plus years, it's been fine. Or has it been two years? However long it's been, it's been fine, and now it's like... I don't know. It feels like we're gone back for ten years. But anyway, whatever. Enough complaining. Um, we're going over the town now. Let's hop outside so we can see it. There we go. And then we'll read about the next thing in a moment, unless we set the drone, because it goes like, Kitty Womp is to the side. That's a known bug. Again, may have been fixed by the time you watch this, but right now it's a bug where the drone slowly starts to tilt, if you've noticed. There is your small town, and it is looking good. This is like, this is up there. This is like 9 out of 10 scenery. We have seen better, but not much better. This is pretty much as good as it gets. Very cool. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Alright, you want to start the turn now, because that's what it's supposed to do. 
Um, let's read about what we're doing then. Next is Piedmont. Follow Alabama State Route 21 to the town of Piedmont. Three minutes away, pretty quickly. Um, pretty soon, I should say. Let's bring up the map because we can for this lake. We'll take advantage. And it's going to be, what, right before this river? So we're going to follow the highway along the mountain range until we get to a river, which we're not going to see at that zoom level. So we'll just stay right here. Not a big deal. Um, it's after all this anyway. So there you go. So we're going to look for Piedmont. So a little bit of sightseeing. And um, we'll keep the same altitude. It's looking good. See so yeah, a Piedmont, which is like we're probably right there, I'm guessing. But we'll see when we get there. And our town's under the nose, so let's hop outside. There it is. Boom, we're going over it right now. There is Piedmont. It's a little green. Sometimes the scenery is green. I know they said they've been working on fixing that like a long time ago, but um, they apparently haven't yet. So let's have a peek out the window while we turn, because that's always fun. And then bring up our next point of interest is Weiss Lake. North of Piedmont lies Weiss Lake at 30,000 acres. It is the sixth largest lake in Alabama and can be seen from the air for over 100 miles. Well, yeah, I mean, depending on how high in the air you are, right? Like, even the top of the Sears Tower, can't you see 60 miles? So, you don't have to be very high to see it for 100, right? Interesting. But there's a lake right there, obviously, so we don't even need to look it up on the map. Um, let's combine a few of these so I don't talk as much. So after Weiss Lake, we're going to West Rome. Turn to the northeast following the Coosa River, which leads to Weiss, into Weiss Lake, into Georgia, and the city of West Rome. And then from there to airport, land at Richard B. Russell Airport, northeast of West Rome. Okay, so let's look on the map super quickly for the town, which is can be on the way to the airport, right? Yeah, it's right before the airport. So we're going to head right there, pretty much fly straight in. So enough talking from me for this leg. I will talk to you again once we come in for our descent into our airport. I wish they gave us an elevation, but it doesn't. Anyway, see you in a little bit. All right, it says we should be about pulling up to the town and then over to the airport we will go. So let's turn off autopilot and we will take it from here ourselves. Actually, one last thing. Look outside, there's our town. Actually, I got that in the other sightseeing shots. Never mind, you already saw the town, so we don't need to look at it. 
Let's head on over and see if we can find this airport here. Bring back throttles a little bit so we descend ever so slightly. Don't want to descend too much too soon. We'll lose sight of the runway, but we don't want to stay too high either because we won't be able to come down. So that is the game we need to play. Um, we will do the next leg in the same video. And then I think we will do two every video from there. We'll have to see. Oh. There's another stall thing. All right, I don't see the airport yet. See, there it is. I see it now. See how high we are. So let's come down even more. And let's gear up. I know gear's up. Let me give a little bit of throttle just so that goes away, I guess. Um, let's see, where did it go? Yeah, we have a lot of altitude to come down, but I think we can do it. And then we'll bleed off speed very quickly once we get down here. And that will conclude the first leg of the Appalachian bush trip. Look at that. Nice. I like that the trees seem to be back for the most part. If you remember, was it, oh gosh, which which one was it? The Italy, wasn't the Italy bush trip where um, people complained about too much vegetation, so they cut back a lot of the trees and then it looked awful. <laughs> At least here it looks good. All right, now well, it was a little faster gear, I think. I don't want to um, stress the aircraft because then it'll, it'll crash and you have to redo the leg. So let's come down. Hopefully we can bleed off speed quickly. We might need to... Um, we might need to... Go around the set reversers? No, of course not. Um, let's try gear down and see if it doesn't stress too much. Does this have spoilers or air brakes? I can't remember. Some of these aircraft, the smaller ones, do actually have spoilers. I can't remember if this one does or not. Um, but it doesn't matter, because we are plenty fine. This first set of flaps gears are already down. Let's get lined up here. Better with the runway. Put it between your legs. That is the clue. No matter what size aircraft, tiny ones, huge ones, put the lines between your legs and you're in the middle. And two set of flaps. I really want to look at that building over there. But, um, oh, don't stall out now. There, right, here we go. I feel like I'm sitting a little low. We might raise our seating here. We'll see how this landing goes. Wow, is it windy. It is windy. Good. A lot of the bush trips, wind has no effect whatsoever. But it is really windy right now, and I love it. We have a very long runway, and this airplane stops very quickly, so... Not worried about coming in a little hot here. Do, 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 do. Just gonna land and not hit those trees. Whoa, the wind. It's bad enough that actually you can see how bad it is in the video. A lot of times you don't see how I'm fighting all this. It looks smooth to you, but it's actually pretty wild. In this case, it you can see it. Let, whoops, I stalled too soon like usual. Yeah, we haven't bounced in a long time. Wow the heck okay at least the worst what at least the worst landing was first i hope <laughs> what the heck was that i told you i don't get along with this aircraft too well that's the, that was horrible <laughs> it stalled way sooner than i thought it was going to and it was all over the place terrible just terrible but anyway let's move on to the second leg and hopefully it only goes better from here all right i come down here and turn the pedal heat back on and over here i think we're Good, we can probably zoom that out one. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Oh, repair and refuel. There we go. Um, I wanted to see if it has spoilers. I don't know. That's parking brake. What is this button doing my yoke? I have to look at my master sheet and see what it does. Anyway, not screwing around. Um, I'm not going to check my seating height. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty accurate. Alrighty, moving along. Where are we headed? Um... To DJ, DZJ, all right, let's see here. Anything about elevation? Blue Ridge, see, blue, blue, no elevation. Okay, we'll probably go back to 5,000 feet then, so let's do that now. Let's use this one. 5,000 feet. There we go. Flight director, we'll use the GPS because we haven't left the sim yet. So we'll just take advantage. So there's GPS. Vertical speed, we'll do 1100 feet per minute again. See how the airplane is like all screwed up? You see that? I did something with my button, I don't know what it does. 
Anyway, we're back to normal now. Alrighty, here we go. Let's read about this. We're going to go to the Ustanuala River from the airport head northeast, roughly following the Mirandian River to Calhoun. That's right away, so let's keep reading. Calhoun at Calhoun, 200 slightly to the south, down a northeast heading. Alright, river to the Calhoun, and then this is pretty close by too. Kusawati River from Calhoun follow Georgia State Route 156 to intersect with the Kusawati River, which originates in the southern Blue Ridge Mountains as part of the Appalachians of Georgia. So that's one of the ridges of Appalachians, which we talked a little bit ago. So we'll fly all this as a chunk, and then we will come back together and talk again. So let's see here. Um, we got the three POIs right here. Bam, bam, bam. So we get to that river intersection. That's when I'll start talking with you again. So here we go. Let's take off parking brake and let's get going. And we should have plenty of runway space to take off. I should have turned around. We're using half a runway, but I think we'll be good. Oh, yes, plenty fine. And then we'll drop out right away. And then I'll leave it to sightseeing and shut my mouth. And oh my gosh, why does it do that? Why does it stall like that? Breaks it stop the wheels, flaps coming in. My video drivers are all up to date. This didn't happen two sim versions ago, but it's been happening now at the time of this recording, obviously. Maybe by the time you watch this, there's been one or two sim updates. Or an update, you know, sim update and a world update thing all in. And hopefully it's fixed by then? I don't know. But right now it's driving me crazy. Anyway, there are the mountains. Um, if you want to hear a great tune about the Blue Ridge Mountains, I guess there's thousands of people who've written songs about Blue Ridge Mountains, but I like Hooray for the Riff Raff. They're older material. I'm not a huge fan of the newer stuff. But the older stuff is very um, Americana, Blue, Blue Ridge Mountain-y, and there is a song about the Blue Ridge Mountains, which I love. Also check out Look Out Mama. That's another good one. All right, um, gear was up a long time ago, flaps were up a long time ago, and props are coming back a little bit. I don't know why it's stalling this rather being insane. All right, barometer doesn't matter, and we do not have gyro drift. So I'm going to turn you to some sightseeing, and I'll see you when we intersect with the river. And hopefully this wind doesn't make you nauseous like it's making me nauseous. Probably why it won't really do VR. I would get sick. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Okie dokie, we are at the river, so let's um, have a look. There we go. There's your river, and then there's the other one right there. Very straightforward. It's a river. <laughs> let's read about the next thing here. Um, let's see, that one, that one, that one. So here we go. Follow the coast of Wadi River to the Regurgitation River or Reservoir, which is probably that big thing there. And then right after that, there's a dam, and then right after that, there's a lake. So you've got a reservoir, a dam, and a lake. Uh, Great Carter's Lake is formed by Carter's Dam and is located in the southern Blue Ridge Mountains, part of the Appalachians. The name Blue Ridge derives from the bluish tint given to distant views of the mountains, which occurs to atmospheric scattering from haze, which is true even when you're driving, you can see that. 
Then after the reservoir, we're going to follow the Kosawati River past the town of Elaje or Elaje something, to the river of the same name. So when we get there, I will join you again, and that would be POI-12. So let's look at where that's going to be. Obviously, okay, those are the rivers and reservoirs, so it's way out here. So we'll follow the river to when it gets a little zigzaggy, and then I'll see you there. Um, also, in case you're wondering, whenever I do sightseeing, ooh, we need to gain some altitude. Um, we do sightseeing, I don't leave anything out. I just cut it down for time. Um, well, actually, no, we're gonna go, we're gonna thread these mountains. Although it does get higher all the way to the airport. Um, let's gain some altitude. <laughs> and then we'll go back down if we need to. Let's go up to 8,000 feet. Um, go like that. I'll keep an eye on our uh, airspeed so we don't stall, but otherwise I will see you in a little bit. Enjoy the water and the rivers and the mountains. All right, we should be coming up on the town. It could be under the view. Yeah, it's under the view of the nose right now. So let's put this back and look down. And it's one of these little things. <laughs> I don't think it was that. I mean, it could have been that, but I don't think so. Um, maybe it would be more obvious when it comes into view, I guess. Let's pop this up just to see where it's putting POI 12 in relation to that body of water. Yeah, the body of water is way out there. So yeah, so we're over right now. Yeah, that was it down there. Okay, kind of strange and small, but that's okay. All righty, let's read about our final part of this leg here. Um, follow U.S. Highway 76 to the town of Blue Ridge, named for the Blue Ridge Mountains, and then head east over Lake Blue Ridge, a large reservoir, which must be this huge thing right here. And then we'll follow U.S. Highway 76 staying to itself to Blairsville Airport and land, which is pavement. So we're looking for a Zulu Juliet, which I think is going to be pretty obvious once we get in that area. So I'll keep it zoomed like this. We're going to fly over here looking for the town of Blue Ridge and then the reservoir and then the airport. So that is our last segment of this leg. I will see you. There's Blue Ridge right there. There's Blue Ridge, there's Reservoir, Airport's over there. Alrighty, cool. We can see what we're looking for. Now we just need the airport, and I'll see you when it's time to land.
All right, airport is on the GPS, and airport is, I believe, well, is it right there? No, but it's somewhere <laughs> out there. So, whoops, we can't quite come down yet, I don't think. Um, but it's just off this water. Yeah, that could be it. So maybe what we'll do is head over to the water. No, not yet. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we do need to come down. So let's start hand flying this in. Um, and then we'll figure it out. Do I want to raise myself a little bit? Is it this one? Nope. What is it? This one? Nope. Where's my... There. Nope. Can't find my up button. There's a button to make you go up. Um, I don't know. We just better fly the plane. Anyway, uh, there it is. I think. Nope. I still can't find this airport. It's out there though, because it's off the water. And it's coming up very quickly. So let's come down steeply. I know gear. Um. Keep your eyes peeled. Anywho, I'll figure out the seating later. Seating position anyway. Um, we don't have to worry about the mixture and altitude yet. Hopefully we won't need to. Because uh, that's a boring conversation. Let's see here. Where is this airport? It's not this here, is it? On the... Ridge line? No. That can't be it. But it says we should be heading right towards it now. Oh, is that it right there? Maybe that's it right there. Hmm, that could be. Um, let's do the gear down even though it's kind of early just so it helps us slow down. Because if we slow down, it'll buy us some time. I really don't like relying this heavily on GPS, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I don't think it, that seems too far away. I mean, that could be it, I guess. Let's aim for that, and if I'm wrong, we'll go around. Um, yeah, that could be it, I guess. Okay. I mean, that would make sense. I also thought maybe it was up here on this ridge line. I can't see it now, but there's like some road up there. Which could have been the airport. All right, let's not get too low. We'll lose sight of it. Let's stay right here. So we'll use throttles to control our descent. And let's do first set flaps. Just because it'll help us stay slower. Using throttles to stop descending so much. And then we'll turn on to final in a moment. And keep an eye on our speed by using pitch. All oh, this looks awesome. Flying in here like this. Oh, this is so cool. And of course, you all know how much I love being below the train level. Train altitude. All right, let's turn now. I totally lost sight of it because I know peripheral vision. And that is obviously our airport, so we are good. All right, do we have two sets of flaps on this? We do. It's a little early for a second flap, but I just want to be able to come in nice and slowly. Pitching down for speed throttle so we don't descend. A little bit of wind. Props back a little bit. And there we go. This was five knot wind, I was going to say. Okay, because anything above three, the simulator like blows you around a lot. So that would make sense why we're getting blown around. And the train turbulence and stuff too. Nice and steady. Put the lines between your legs. I'm pitching down to keep our speed good. Also going to bring throttles down so we descend a little more. Maybe not that much. Nice and steady. Wind's the race. And hopefully the landing goes better than last time. I can't go much worse. Um, I don't really know why it was so bad. Doesn't matter. Landing is just a small part of the flight. All that seems to be the thing people focus on, including myself. I've been guilty of that. But I try to enjoy everything else too. All right, here we go. Throttles back to descend towards that runway. We'll aim for the numbers in a moment. Our speed is a little higher than I wanted it to be, but that's fine as long as that bus gets off the runway. What the heck was that? Alright, let's not stall so soon now that we know that stall is actually above the red line. Um, let's plan on coming down at this speed. Much better. Be Ooh, look at that crosswind. Nice. Level off. Let this, there we go, stall a bit and 
compensate for the crosswind much better. And those wheel down gently. There we go. We're on the brakes. Flaps coming in much better. Not perfect, but that crosswind kind of got me at the last second there. All right, two down. You know the drill. Like and subscribe so you know when the rest of the well, the next video of more legs drops. And I'll simply see you then.